Okay, here's another classic integral, the integral of secant cubed. Now, integrals of odd powers of secant are never easy work. There are always multiple steps involved, they are counterintuitive, and they get exponentially more difficult the higher the odd power. But fortunately, secant cubed is still manageable, and probably the most straightforward way of going about this integral is to use integration by parts. So integration by parts is defined as the integral of u dv is equal to u by v minus the integral of v du. And we can write secant cubed in this form. So if I write secant cubed as equal to secant times sec squared, then the integral of sec cubed is equal to the integral of sec x by sec squared x with respect to x. And the first part I can say is equal to u. So we let u equal sec x. And we let this sec squared x dx equal dv. So dv equals sec squared x dx. So now I have the two parts for the integration by parts. So if I take the derivative of u with respect to x, so du is equal to, now the derivative of sec x is equal to sec x tan x. And if I integrate the dv part, so v integrates to, so dv integrates to tan x, then the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. This should have a dx here. So sec x tan x dx. Alright, so this part here we can rewrite as tan squared x sec x. Now tan squared x, we have the expression 1 plus tan squared x is equal to sec squared x. So this means we can write tan squared x as sec squared x minus 1 the trailing sec x term gets copied. And taking this in, we have sec cubed x minus sec x. And of course we have the integration of all of this. This part gets copied down, so the front sec x tan x part is copied so we have the integral of sec cubed is equal to all of this. But this negative I can expand into the trailing integral and make this into two integrals. So this becomes minus the integral of sec cubed x plus the integral of sec x dx. And the front term remains. So it looks like we've got a bit of a loop here. So we've got uh, the integral of sec cubed x is equal to sec by tan minus the integral of itself plus the integral of sec x. Uh, but this is okay because we can take this to the other side of the equation. So what this gives us is 2 by sec cubed x on the left hand side is equal to sec by tan plus the integral of sec x. Now the integral of this is log of sec 
plus 10 and now we can add the integration constant at the end the first part we can still copy down okay so we've got 2 times the integral of sec cubed x with respect to x is equal to sec by 10 plus the log of sec plus 10 so if we divide both sides of the equation we can say that the integral of sec cubed x is equal to a half of sec x tan x plus a half of the natural log of sec x plus tan x plus a half of the integration constant c which is just going to end up being another constant so let's call that constant k so thus we have a formula for the integral of secant cubed if you have found this video useful please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel for more videos that may help you with your math homework or assignments best of luck with your studies and i'll see you on the next video